Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? And so today I thought I'd take a day look and make it into a nighttime glam look. So um, I guess I should get started on what I went ahead to use to get my day look today. And so as far as what I had under the base, I went ahead and used the Oma uh, by Sharon C. And this is their Natural Glow C10 Serum. So I had this on, and then I went ahead and mixed it with the Oma um, foundation. This one is in Fair Lady T1, and so these are the two that I have on my face right now. This is the Oma that you can get over at Walmart, and um, so it's their drugstore line, basically. And as far as what I went ahead and put over that, I used the NYX Thicket Stick It, and this one's in the Cool Ash Brown. So I had that one on there. And then I did go ahead and use um, the Clear the Air, and that's a uh, one. And uh, this one's by ColourPop website, and uh, you can get ColourPop at Ulta as well. As far as what I did, I used this color for my base and this color for my base. Uh, this color over here on the inner corner, this one on the lid, and then, then this one up on the brow. So it made a really pretty peachy kind of look and um, really pretty. like it a lot um, and very good for day, you know, just run around during the day. and. Um, what I went ahead and did on the cheeks was I used the Pat McGrath uh, Labs. This one is, yeah, Desert Orchid is what I went ahead and used right there. And then I also used this one, which is Golden Nectar, I think. Yeah, Golden Nectar. So I went ahead and had a combo of these two on for blush and highlight. And then I used uh, the ColourPop Bronzer. And with the bronzers that are, uh, this is one of the powder matte bronzers. Um, and for any of this kind of packaging, all you need to do is go ahead and put your thumb in here and then take it all the way around and you can, uh, with your thumbnail in there and you can get the packaging to pop open because I know sometimes it can be kind of difficult with these. They, uh, they seal very, very well. This is a Vila Beach, and it's a bronzer. It's the lightest and most neutral of all of their bronzers. Or not all of their bronzers, but all of the uh, powder bronzers. And I went ahead and used uh, Essence Volume Stylist as far as the mascara. And let's see, what else did I do? Oh. I used uh, this one as far as lipstick. It's by ColourPop. It's part of the Hello Kitty collection. It was like the first time that I think they had done the um, uh, the glossy lip. So yeah, it's pretty. So that's how that one looks. And then to go ahead and get started, to go ahead and glam this up a little bit, um, let's start with the highlighter. And I used the um, ColourPop, and it was the, um, oh, let's see, um, it, Seismic. I went ahead and used the ColourPop Seismic. And, I mean, it's still on there, but it's not, you know, what highlights so I thought we might as well start and do some major highlighting here and this is Juvia's Place the Heroin Glow 2 so that's what I have there and I'll go ahead and beef some of this up a little bit Oh, and I did have it mixed with some of the Pat McGrath highlighter as well. So we'll just be adding a third highlighter onto here. And we'll just go ahead and get, yeah, some real glow going. 
And then as far as going ahead and getting some glow on the eyes, this is supposed to be a quick one here. So, let's see. We'll go ahead and use this one. It's a Pat McGrath palette and it is um, Sublime. I ex yeah, Sublime. And um, these you can get on the Pat McGrath uh, website. And they sometimes she has them, sometimes they're out of stock. They usually tend to come back. Um, but they're not very expensive and they don't have fancy packaging, but they give you a chance to go ahead and play with the formula. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add some of this green in, like right in the center of the eye. So we've almost got a halo eye going on here. Okay, so there we go with that. And then as far as... I think probably I could go in with this rust color as well and do that right on the brow bone. So yeah, go ahead and get that done. Okay, so we're getting there. And then, you know what, we could just cover the whole thing up. Um, so this color is actually a gold. And I think I'm going to go on in with some of that as well. And really what we're doing is just covering up the other eye look. Just adding in a lot of sparkle. So, that's how the eye look has changed. Okay, so there's that. And we can add in a little bit of eyeliner. Let's see where I put that. Hmm. So this brown highlighter, let's well go ahead and add some of that in here. Okay, so again, here's how that has changed. And um, let's go ahead and get some glowy blush on here. We'll go ahead and try to glow it up a little bit. Or, hmm. you know what we could do is use the ColourPop Addicted to You. And this is actually a highlighter that they came out with. And again, if you put your... If you put your thumbnail in the back of here and you just keep your thumbnail in there, you can take it around to the front of the packaging and pop it open. So let's see if I can do that. But it's a really good way to do stuff. And again, this is if you only have a couple of minutes and you don't have time to go ahead and um, redo your makeup. We're just going to make it a little bit more sparkly. Okay, so we have a little bit more by using this as the topper. So again, that's the Addicted to You highlight um, from ColourPop. And there's packaging like that. And then uh, let's do some lipstick here. And let me see. 
Uh, Nick's are wet and wild here. Hmm. I could do this one. This is the NYX Cosmic Metals, and it's rose gold. It just says number 14 here, so. Now I guess I could go ahead and add a little bit of the glowish powder on top and a quick spurts, spritz and then we'll be ready to go. So this is the glowish and fair light. Again, yeah, that's it. And yes, I did pan it. I've really been loving this kind of powder. And we'll use a little bit of the uh, Glisten Up by ColourPop here. I'm almost out of this one. Okay, so. I think we got a glowy on to go and do a glowy night out. And yeah, that's how it turned out. Hope you like it. And um, let's see, how many products would I have had to take with me? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I would have had to fit this in a purse. Actually, all three of these in a purse. And in that case, I probably would have taken my little Glisten Up that I have. Um, yeah, they sell these in the travel size as well. So, um, yeah, this is uh, what I would have had to take with me in a purse to go ahead and spruce up this look to go out at night and have a good time. So, uh, that's the video. I hope that you like it. And... Um, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.